Can we, can we just start with that catch that was given not out at slip? What was your general view as a team on, on that and how it played out? Yeah, all of us thought it's out. Um, Simon was convinced it went straight in. I think when you look at the front on and, well, if you look at the angles, it looks like, to us, it looks like fingers are underneath it. So, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get that one. I think it would have been a big one at that stage. Um, but yeah, we were we were convinced it's out. Well, um, just that when you did eventually get Marmison's wicket, you just sort of take us through those few balls, seem to have up pretty nicely. I won't call it that, but uh, <laughs> I was trying to. Um, yeah, at, at the, before that, um, ball got quite wet and in the outfield, and so it was hard to really get it through to the keeper. And then when we came on again, felt like there might just be maybe a touch more. Um, the ball might be just a little bit harder. It hasn't gone out through the outfield so much again. Um, and then, yeah, just try and hit good good areas, not try and be fancy, just try and keep it simple. Um, and why not, yeah, just try to hit the wicket as hard as I could and you yeah, luckily got out, something out of it. Um, so it wasn't really a, a big setup, more than just trying to, to stay consistent in, in, in the area. And luckily, <laughs> luckily we got some nip and bounce there. Uh, I don't know, just coming back to the, the catch for a moment, there was, seemed like, and Barrett mentioned before uh, a conversation of sorts uh, between Manus and, and yourselves. What was the nature of that conversation from your? I've got no idea. Story? I didn't chat to him. I don't know. Sorry. Brad? Uh, uh, I'm interested in that. Like, uh, we are in an era where, you know, if, if, as a fielding team, the fielder says, like, I have taken it clean, the batter does have the option to not go and therefore kind of force, force the umpire's hand in a way to use technology. What is it like a fielding team to kind of recover from that when you, you know, your teammates say, I did catch it, like mm. this game? Yeah, it's, you just have to try and focus again. Um, it can quickly get out of hand afterwards where you feel you've been hard done by. So I think the main thing is just to try and focus, and I told Marco as well, just to try and um, just focus on what you were doing, put even more effort in the basics and um, just yeah, just try and get through that phase again where, where that sort of drifts out your mind again because it, it can feel like you should have got the wicket and now maybe one or two balls go go to the boundary and then you lose the momentum again. So I thought he bowled really well at that stage. So well done to him for, for keeping up with his line and lens. And I think as a fielding unit, you just want to feed off that energy and, and of the good balls of the bowlers as well in that stage. I was just wondering what your perspective was on the bad light situation <laughs> today and just in general in cricket. You know, um, I guess a lot of commentators uh, bemoaning the fact that so much time is lost and obviously batsmen might have a slightly different view to bowlers on uh, yeah. on this issue, but do you think the game does need to find a way to, to make sure that you know, players can stay on the field? Yeah, yeah, it's tough because it, it was really dark at a stage and it gets dark and I mean it's not just the, the batting team but also fielders can't pick the ball up at certain areas on the field so it's really hard to to play when you and then if a, a chance comes and it goes down then yeah it's 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 just a hard one and to come off when it's dark is probably just the right decision what it should be and how it should be um, that's not up to us, but it's just it, at a stage it can get unsafe um, if the balls may be a bit harder um, and you're coming in with, with two guys who's bowling quickly, um, it could be unsafe. Um, we saw one bouncer from KG as well where they didn't really pick it up too well, whether it was light or just position, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's not up to us, but it, it's just the point of safety, I think, and playing fair in a way. Um, yeah. Andre, you took some really big wickets, important wickets in Melbourne and then a few today as well. I was wondering if there's anything you've done differently in the last two tests as opposed to in the series opener or <laughs> just the wicket sort of the first time round or anything different? Uh, compared to the first game, are you saying the first game? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. Um, the first game, I'm just a bit disappointed in, in sort of what I was dishing out. I thought my, the training and the prep was a lot better than in that game, um, at sta I had stages where I felt really good in the game and, uh, and then stages where I felt like it was just not clicking during that first game. But the last two games still, it was basically same focus, same like principle, I think. Um, 
I think after the first game, I spoke a lot about just my jump and my, my basics that I go back to and just sort of trying to figure that out, especially here yeah, as well, different ground again. Most of the outfields here are quite soft or, or muddy. So just to, to take that into consideration, understand it, know just the situation I identified maybe a bit earlier what to do. And I think after that first game, um, sort of found something that's just working maybe a bit better, but it's it's sort of, there's nothing in the action or anything that's that's different. Um, just to try and be more consistent. I think that's a big focus as well. Cool, we'll go for it. We'll go now. We'll take it back. Thanks, Luffy. Uh, only just the impact you seem to have with the new ball every time you get the new ball and how comfortable you look with it. Do you think you earn the right now to just walk up to Dean and get and say, I'm taking the new ball? <laughs> I'm sure he'll give me a few words after that. But, um, yeah, I've been, I said it in, I think, before Melbourne. Um, I've been working quite hard the last few months on just the new ball and how to bowl with it. Mostly it was white ball, but it's it, it's sort of the same principle in a way. Um, just working with the new ball, how to grip it, how, how it comes out differently. Um, I felt like sometimes I lost a bit of control with the new ball, whereas now the last while feel like I've had a lot more control with it. Um, so it's something that I've been really working hard on and I was happy to get the new ball today. It was something that for the last while I've been wanting. Um, and just to get the opportunity again to, to bowl with it, it's it's really nice. And um, it's sort of a gen sometimes you come on as first change and just maybe some of the shine or the ball's maybe just a little bit softer, the guys are in. Um, yeah, it was just a nice thing to, to have today to, to be able to bowl first innings with, with the new ball. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering your thoughts on the pitch. I mean, we saw a turn quite early um, on day one uh, and just the effect that it might have as this game goes on. There's so many unknowns with the mm. weather, but it might be quite interesting to be batting last on that pitch. Well. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's definitely, it looks like a very dry wicket and um, even some of the marks were, as we're landing and as we're following through, there's quite a, quite a bit of um, sort of marks there and that's already on not a full day of day one. So I do think it's going to be tough later on. I'm not sure how much it will affect the team batting loss, or for, um, but it's definitely going to play a role and like you said, it was, it, it was turning so... Spinners are going to play a massive role in this game. Um, at a stage for us, it was just, I think, with the weather as well, just didn't play into our hands with um, with the spin at that stage. But I do think it's going to play a massive role um, going forward in the game. So hopefully hopefully we can be one up on that. And just on that, what did you make of Simon Harmer's bowling today? And was the fact that the ball was getting down a bit of a, a negative for both him and uh, Kesha? Uh, I thought they bowled really well. I thought they were asking the right questions. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he bowled also first over Maiden and then got the, the got a nick where they started getting some runs. But um, it was it was maybe just a bit slower. I think maybe just sitting in the wicket a little bit more um, with the weather around and with some little bit of drizzle. So it wasn't. The, it might have been turning here and there, but not as much as you would think on the wicket. So. Um, I think both of them will be very effective on the wicket. It's just if it's the right time and if we can have them on at the right times at this stage, it's, it felt like, I think, to Dean and to everyone that the Seamus could do a, a job here. Yeah, it's a little bit of a handful to, to face the guys, especially with some movement now and then and maybe one or two misbehaving. So um, I think, definitely think right time, it's gonna be, they're going to be a handful um, for Australia.